a lot of places in our place, when they finish the prayer in the masjid, they will gather together and say they want to send salam to the prophet. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. And everyone have to do this together at once. These guys, after the salam, after the prayer of the uh, uh, um, congregational prayer, they offer salutation upon the Prophet ﷺ. Very good, very nice. Salutation upon the Prophet ﷺ is highly recommended and desirable. Anytime? Nope. What do you mean nope? If I'm uh, coming out of the toilet, or if I'm entering the toilet, I want to answer the call of nature. I say, Bismillah, A'udhu Billahi min al khubthi wal khaba'ith. This is the dua, we all know this. Can I say, Allahumma salli wa sallim ala Muhammad? Or when I come out, I say, Ghufranak, Allahumma salli wa sallim ala Muhammad? He said, no, this is inappropriate. He said, why? He said, this is not something that the Prophet taught us to say. Excellent, Jazakallah khair. Did the Prophet teach you, alayhi salatu wa to offer salutation upon the Prophet after concluding the Salat? No. But it's a good thing. A good thing in your head, not in the religion of Islam. And this is an innovation because you've come up with something that the Prophet did not come up with. So question number one, did the Prophet ever offer salutation upon himself after Salat? No. Did it? Did the companions, Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, and Ali, the four rightly guided Khalifas, was it ever reported that they performed congregational salutation upon the Prophet after the Salat, alayhi No. So with all due respect, do you know more than them? No, but it's a good thing. Subhanallah. A good thing and the Prophet did not do it? You're coming to me and saying that, oh, now I am doing something the Prophet didn't do. He didn't know that it was a good thing. That's why he didn't do it. But I'm doing it. This is kufr. Okay, Sheikh, but the, the Imam in the Netherlands or in Germany or in the UK or the US, they're doing this. Akhi, most of these Imams are ignorant people. They don't know. Or they are following deviant sects and cults. These are immigrants who came running and fleeing their country for a good social security. They're coming for money. If you check a lot of them, not all, of course, there are righteous and practicing Muslims among them. But so many people that I get similar questions from are gold diggers. They are buying homes in riba, in mortgage. They're free mixing. I get sisters from Denmark and from Norway and from uh, 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 Sweden talking to me about Imams telling them to come with them in the car, travel to different cities alone. A'udhu Billah. What is this? And she says, Sheikh, I, I don't know. The Imam says it's okay. These are not Imams. They're just there for the money. Yeah, maybe they're Arabs. Maybe they're Turks. Maybe they're from here or there. They know a few verses of the Quran and mashallah, they grew a beard and they became Mawlana and they became these are deviant people. Stay away from them.